guys, Annette here. So through prior blogs, I'm sure you've gotten the hint that I absolutely love gardening. Now, of course, uh, being from Kansas, I've just had a lot of experience within my family. We always grew up with a big backyard garden. My parents, of course, growing things like tomatoes, jalapenos, just about anything you can think of. We had apple trees and, and grape vines, the whole, the whole hoopla, if you could think of it. Anything that we could grow, we did. And so here in my apartment, I am actually starting my own sort of indoor garden. I have so many great things that are in here, particularly I'm trying to grow, you know, some great tomato plants, jalapeno plants, you know, some onions, all sorts of stuff that I can do outside, but of course in my window seal. So I've created all sorts of devices. I've made my own homemade topsy-turvies from two liter bottles. I've cut up uh, different types of containers and whatnot to just sort of provide a really nice home for all these different fruits, vegetables, whatever I can grow in here, I'm gonna give it a try. But of course, one thing that really worries me is when I'm actually going on vacation. Now, considering how busy we are on TV, we're just always on the go. And very soon, I'm actually taking a vacation home. So I've decided to create my own sort of irrigation system device on the cheap, and I wanted to share my stuff with you. So here's the stuff you'll need to feed your plants while you're away. Basically, it boils down to two ingredients. You're gonna need some twine, and you're also gonna need a container that will hold the water that's gonna feed your plant. So you wanna make sure that you have a container that can have some sort of lid on it. That way, when you put water inside, the water won't escape and evaporate its way out. We're gonna first go ahead and poke a hole through the top of the cap here. That way we can string the twine on its way through and be able to link the twine from the water to the actual plant itself. But after we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and cut up our twine. We're gonna need about one to two feet of twine, I would just custom it to basically how long you need it to stretch from your container, however big or small it is, to the actual plant. So we'll go ahead, measure that out, then cut it. And then once we have that hole through the top of the container here, we're gonna go ahead and string it on through the top here. And then we're gonna link it from the bottom, pushing it all the way to the bottom of the container. And then we're gonna connect it to the plant. When we get it to the plant, we go ahead and push it into that soil. We want to reach it down to the roots of the plant. That way, the roots, were actually where the plant is feeding, will actually be able to drink from the twine. The twine is basically a straw from the twine to the actual container of water itself. It's very cool. And here is kind of the final product itself. I've had this uh, twine feeder for a few days now. It's really served my plants pretty well um, being here, just making sure that it actually does work. Um, one suggestion I would have is before you go ahead and push it into the plant's soil, I would go ahead and actually wet down that wick, that uh, twine here, just because you need sort of a starting point for it all to work. And if the water is gonna try to reach from one end to the other, I kind of feel like it's not really all greased all the way through the watering of this wick before, this twine before, will kind of help make the process already started. The plant will continue to drink from this. And I would suggest that you have the water source just be a little bit higher, not a lot higher. I would say this uh, half gallon container really is as much as you wanna go but just a little bit higher than the actual source itself. That way the water's coming up and down as opposed to trying to reach its way up. It might just be a bit harder, but I've never given that a try, so I'm not a complete expert at this all. But um, it's certainly done a pretty good job itself. I'm just so excited to have something to take care of my plants while I'm gone. So the system in itself turned out to be a great lifesaver for me when it comes to just being away from my home, you know, and it's inexpensive. And that's the part that I sincerely love about it the most. It cost me just a couple dollars to buy the twine at the grocery store. You know, I obviously reused, I recycled some products they had around the home to hold the water in but it turned out to be a nice alternative to some of those expensive systems that you find at the store. I find that a lot of products out there cost you, you know, they look nice, but they cost upwards of at least $20 just for a few plant feeders. For this, I can have several feeders for far less of a cost, so I certainly hope it becomes of use to you guys who happen to be away, so you don't have to beg your friends to come over and take care of things in your own home. So certainly, I hope this video blog is of use to you. Tell me, you know, how this worked out for you guys, if things worked out well, it didn't. I'm just curious of how it all ended up for you in the end, and hopefully it took away that stress and help you decompress when you were gone and away from your home. 
But thanks so much for watching this video blog. I appreciate you guys and your support here online. And um, until the meantime, I'll catch you later. Bye.